Hey Deckers, today I want to talk to you about SD card download issues. Now, if you are looking at the top graph, thinking that this looks very familiar, then this video is going to be of great benefit to you. If you are seeing the bottom graph, then there may be some points in here just to tweak that a little bit. But this is mostly if you are having issues with your SD card downloading, starting and stopping. If you look at the results of our poll recently, over 40% of you are actually seeing this issue and one particular brand comes up quite often. So the whole point of this and to see if you have SD card problems or whether there is things that you can fix, you're looking at two different things here. One, if you are having issues when you move content from your SD card and it just never seems to happen, or you're seeing this start and stopping on the downloading front. Both of these are very different issues. And one of these led to me bricking my SD card, which if you follow me on socials, on Twitter or the community post, then you would have seen me post about this. So first off, if you're not getting the rate out of your download speed that you think that you should be, regardless of your SD card, then there is a couple of things that you will want to tweak here. One is to go into the system options and turn on developer mode. Once that's enabled, scroll down to the bottom of the menu settings to the developer section and turn off something called Wi-Fi power management. This will make you restart your Steam Deck and make it much more stable and reliable on five gigahertz networks to make sure you get the most out of your download speed. The second is there is somewhat of a bug with the bandwidth limiter, even with that set. So you want to go into the download section and change the limit bandwidth to around a million kbs now if you go over the limit it won't save it so make sure that you get this about right you can see here about 100,000 kbs is a limit of around 12 and a half megabits per second so you want to make sure that that can max out your connection so you see that i put this to a million because i've got a gig line here theoretically i should be able to get up to 122 megabytes a second download so i do make sure that that is up to that limit so if you are not seeing the steady download rate after doing this, and it pretty much capping out around 60 meg per second is the best that the Wi-Fi card in the Steam Deck can do, then there may be an issue with your SD card. That issue is probably the fact that it has a write speed that is lying to you from what you bought. Now Sanders seem to be the worst for this at the moment, and I don't know why, even on the extreme version, most of the users have reported that the write speed has been causing issues. This may be due to the thermal coupling of the cards themselves or the layout of the pins. But essentially, if the card cannot write as fast as you're downloading, what it will do is stop your download until the write catches up and then it will start once again. You can see here from my Samsung Evo Select, which I do have a link in the description below. I have no issues with this at all. It downloads at a solid 64 megabytes per second, writing at the same speed, maxing out my Wi-Fi on the Steam Deck. Now that's only about half the bandwidth of my actual internet line, but this seems to be the top end of the Wi-Fi itself. Now there is a way to fix potentially your SD card, and that is using this guide that Royal Metal Knights posted in the Steam Deck community quite some time ago using KDE. Now I'm not going to go through the process for this, use at your own risk. Both myself and another creator, Game Tech Planet, tried various methods to get our SD cards working because we had this slow SD card issue and both had issues with KDE and both ended up bricking the SD card that we were using. As I've worked very closely with Game Tech Planet on solutions to this, you're probably going to see a very familiar video over on his channel. But also do check him out, he covers a lot more than just Steam Deck. I'll leave a description for his channel below. So the one in the description below and the one that I'm now using in both my Steam Decks is the Samsung 512 Evo. If you do use the link in the description below, then that does give me a small affiliate payment. So much appreciated. But if you do want to go and investigate yourselves, what you want to be looking for in the descriptions is the read speed that they actually specify and something to say that they actually tested this. You can see on the Samsung Evo Select here that they are quoting on the top line here of transfer speeds up to 130 and that the read and write speeds have been conducted in controlled conditions and may vary. Now this is true. The max I've actually seen my card cap out at is around 94 megabytes per second, which is around the UHS class one top speeds anyway. So that's all we would expect from a UHS one rated card. 
And if you look in the reviews, a lot of the time you'll see a screenshot very similar to this. Somebody testing with something called Crystal Disk Mark. And you'll see with the Samsung Evo that they are getting the read and write speeds pretty much as advertised. Whereas if you look at something like the SanDisk Extreme, they don't even quote any write speeds at all. And this has been the case on a few of the SD cards that we've looked at with people reporting issues on, they don't even report a write speed at all. Look at the wording of even the read speed here, is that the SanDisk Extreme has up to 170 megabytes per second read speed, engineered with proprietary tech, so it would reach speeds beyond the UHS-1 class of 104 megabytes per second, which requires compatible devices reaching such speeds. So even though it's quoting that it can do 170 megabytes per second, unless you have hardware that uses SanDisk's proprietary tech, you're never going to get above 104 megabytes anyway. So do watch out for these types of things. And as you can see from the reviews of the SanDisk Extreme, when they've actually tested this, they're only getting read speeds of 93 and write speeds of 62. So watch out for wording around proprietary tech. Now we did also have a user reach out on Twitter that used a third party A2 card. Again, they didn't specify the write speeds on the product link that they sent us. And after testing, it turns out that it's only around 30 megabytes write speed. So one of the things that you can do if your SD card isn't having issues to mitigate what the actual write speed is, is to go back and set the download limit to around 30 or 40 megabytes per second and see if your download graph steadies out. So to do that, as I showed at the start, just go into the Steam Deck settings, go to the downloads and set the limit bandwidth option to an option that you can have a tweak with. As you saw around 100,000 KBS was around 12 and a half megabytes a second. So you can start there and work your way up in around 10 megabyte increments until you start seeing the issue present itself again. And then you'll find out the true write and buffer capabilities of your SD card. This will vary from card to card, but the Samsung Evos definitely seem to be the more reliable with most of the people saying that they don't have issues, also reporting that they have the Samsung Evo cards. Let us know in the comments below if you've been having these issues and what brand and what model your card is. And hopefully this will get you much more stable download rates in future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.